So, I think it'll be good. Yeah, I do too. Smurfs, Smurfs on the other hand, <laughs> not a good idea. Smurfs. It's Neil Patrick it's Harris. Smurfs, it's not, a, it's not over the Scooby-Doo movies. Yeah, so, uh, Neil Patrick Harris adopts a bunch of Smurfs, I guess. Is that the whole uh, I guess you got Alan Cumming, George Lopez, Anton, you look involved with this. They're coming in bears. <laughs> But, uh, uh, so who cares about? Does anyone really care about? Oh, it's Nickelodeon. I, I really does don't. anybody remember the Smurfs? I remember the Smurfs. I remember the Smurfs, but I think the stuff on Robot Chicken is funnier than this movie will ever be. I mean, the whole Seven ripoff of the Smurfs. That was... I I don't know about this movie. I don't know. I mean, I said the I same. Guarantee. I said the same about Yodi Bear, and I liked it. So what do I know? But I guarantee the Smurfs is going to make a shit ton of money, though. Why? It's a kid's movie. It's a kid's movie. It's going to... No, be but huge. you said the same, like, I was in Aliens, and then the week before Captain America, and the week after the new play of the Apes. I, I understand that, but I seriously guarantee it's going to make a lot of money, because kids' movies nowadays... Well, Yodi Bear didn't make that much money. That's... No, but the Smurfs has a bigger following, I think. Really? I don't know. Really? Does it? Empire? I... Oh, here. The Yogi Bear. He's maybe. I don't know. I, just, I don't. I don't think it'll be. I don't know. Well, I didn't think Alvin the Chipmunks was going to be a huge, gigantic hit either, but it was. So. Yeah. You know. The sequel didn't make that much money, though, did it? it yeah. Yeah, it did make a pretty. That's why they made me the third one, which will oh, be. Oh yeah. The change up. I don't know. Ryan right? Reynolds, Jason Bateman, Leslie Mann. Ryan Reynolds should be. The world. Legacy. I think Ryan Reynolds should retire for about five years. <laughs> I'm, Dude, tired, Deadpool, I'm tired please. of seeing Ryan Reynolds. I'm sorry. I mean, I I can't remember the last good movie he was in. I actually like Van Wilder, though. I like Van Wilder after that. Yeah, Wilder. but how long ago was that? 1999? He did this. He did this comedy which I, nobody talks about. I think it's very underrated. Called Just Friends. That was 2005. Was that Dane Cook? That was very funny. Anna Farrah. I thought that was Dane Cook. No, that what? was that was him. That was I'm him. sorry, I'm confused between those two because their sense of humor is almost exactly. Yeah, it's really funny in Just Friends. It's kind of I like it way better than something about Mary because. It's... I mean, you look at Ryan Reynolds and Dane Cook. Don't they? Aren't they almost exactly the same person? Yeah, they were in this movie together called Waiters. Waiting. 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 Whatever the fuck. Oh yeah, I liked Waiting, but it just. I enjoyed Waiting. Uh, I'm uh, still watching Waiting because I see what the waiters do to tell us that, to, <laughs> to that fuck with them. But I think just because of Wolverine and I did not care about the proposal. I like Deadpool's character. Buried, so I, I don't want to see. Movie done right. It's a shitty ending. Mm -hmm. Well, Buried is, I think it's sort of based on a true story, but I don't know. It's a shitty ending, though. Yeah, shitty ending. No, it's not based on a true story. Oh, uh, okay. But I don't know, I just... I'm tired of this, oh, he's doing Green Lantern, no, he's doing The Flash, no, he's doing this. Deadpool. What a... I have a feeling that Deadpool film, whether if he does it or not, it's going to be shitty. It's not going to be any honest to the source, to be honest. That's why they keep I don't, getting unknown. I don't think it's going to be honest. They got some no-name guy directing it. It <laughs> needs to break the fourth wall. <laughs> Zombieland doing it, it ain't gonna make one big fucking difference, because they're gonna rewrite shit behind people's backs. You know really what it should be? It should... That's why I think the film should have been like an animated... The, it should be like an animated series on Spike. A made-for-DVD animated movie, which, like, they, they will plan a whole. That's that would it. be fine, but I think an animated series on Spike would be cool because they can get away with a lot of stuff on Spike, and, you know... Well, then again, the animation stuff on Spike didn't last that long. Look at, look at Afro Samurai. Yeah, I know that, but that really wasn't theirs. They did Stripperella, and that didn't do very well. Well, of course. <laughs> it's called Stripperellas. There you go. But, uh, I don't know, I mean, Ryan Reynolds, I don't know, I just, I'm tired of seeing him. He, he, he's, he, he's becoming a victim of overexposure. I know Antonio Banderas had the same problem in the mid-90s. Every year, he's doing a fucking movie. Now, granted, he's good to have a job. People would say the same thing about Salome. You know, people would do the same thing about Salome. Well, in right? the past ten years, he's only done, what, three movies? Yeah. Huh. So that's not overexposure, three movies. 
But this guy is like... Somebody will make the same argument about Adam Sandler, because it is true. Adam Sandler every fucking year comes out. Well, I'm getting tired of him already right now. Well, we just said we'll just go for it. We're getting tired of it. Yeah. It's the same thing. Adam Sandler needs to do something different. You know? Well, he's very crazy people. I mean, not crazy people. Funny people. (laughs) Well, that wasn't funny. That was, was like, okay, nice. Ryan Reynolds, you want to do something? Do something good. Surprises. So, when he does drama, like, I don't I think Deadpool is his fault. Yeah. I think Deadpool, he did an all right job as Deadpool. It's not his fault that Wolverine's script was absolutely shitty and didn't give a crap about Deadpool's real... What were that. you saying about the drama? Yeah, the drama... Like, I think he was very good in uh, Smoking Aces. I liked him in Smoking Aces. He was good in that. Yeah, film. I mean, he's the like movie. dramatic and intimidating in the Amityville horror. Yeah, yeah. he's terrible there. He's horrible. I'm just saying that. that Smoking dramatic... Aces could have been better. I could deal with it though. I don't know why. I just didn't. I didn't think it was that bad. I liked that the idea of these hitmen, these people coming to yeah. the area for a fucking climax yeah. and stuff. It has the other one for it. Next one yeah. by 20th Century Fuckface. I don't really care about Rise of the Planet of Apes. Yeah, shit first because once again. I saw the trailer. It doesn't do much for me, really. Because you know why? Once again, this is a famous Fox property. Like Predator, like Alien. And you see the way the new Fox execs, Tom Fuckface, Rockland, treats these, these type well, of... Well, he, he, he produced the original Planet of the Apes remake. That's one of the first movies he produced. Well, you, you see? So but I don't like I that mean, one. It's like he figures... Well, I'm on this, this is my office, I'm gonna run this place my way, I don't give a fuck if people like my movies or not. If he continues <laughs> this crap, he's gonna get end up on the street. Uh, I'm serious, this guy cannot continue this conti- continuous no, fuck he, you he, attitude to everybody. Jimmy is the reason why he's not on the street, Jimmy. That's why. He's eventually gonna get it, you know, get what comes to him, he's gonna get bit in the ass. It's gonna, you know, it's, would just seem like a prick, you know, like karma is a bitch. Tom Rothwick, it's going to come back and get you. You know. So, I was playing the Apes. I did, the original remake. I saw it in theaters a while ago, and I liked it. But then I watched it again. And I'm like, it's not uh, that good. It's just. My Wahlberg gets his ass handed to him too many times by the Apes. I felt. Charles the rest of his help is all against the Apes. You know, take your stinking paws on your damn dirty apes. Dirty Apes. You know. <laughs> He didn't take no shit from the apes and shit. I thought, Even the I... second film, you know, what is his name? Uh, the actor... James, James Francisco. Francisco. He, he, his own, he killed his own against the apes and stuff. Even though they both get killed in the end of the film. But, and I didn't mind the third one or Conquest of the Apes, which I think this is based on Conquest of the Apes. But that's done way better, though. I just don't like the way they look. It's like, let's just make a half proto-ape, human ape. It's done by the same, the same studio responsible for the same effects they use for Avatar. It's just the so it's kind of like, it's, so it's kind of like Deep Blue Sea. Let's, like, make apes smarter and then I, I thought it looked interesting. Really? The trailer, yeah, I thought it looked interesting. Because oh. I, I like that it, it was actual apes. It wasn't... I don't want the fucking Tim Burton... And his bitch, fucking, what the, what the her's name? Helen the Bottom Carter? Yeah, I didn't want that look. I'm tired of that look in the face. I was like, okay, it's actual apes? I didn't know they were going to roll that route. I thought it was, a, I thought it'd be like people with this shitty mask, you know, looking like an ape, but... I gotta as, be honest, as I don't actual the, apes, the makeup effects in Planet of the Apes were... I think they were good, but that's me, but because they're practical. Well, they exactly the same technology they used for Avatar, Matt. That's what it is. Well, Avatar had a shitty cast. Here, at least, uh, James Franco, I buy more than Sam Worthington's. Mm-hmm. And John Lithgow's in it, too. So, yeah. Brian Cox. Uh, Brian Cox. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying it'll be good. I'm just saying it. The trailer. He's in it. I'm not yeah, saying, I'm not saying it's going to be good. Director. I'm just saying the trailer I thought was interesting. Well, I don't trust again. I don't trust Fox, so I don't now the know. next one I don't care about at all. You know, I don't give a fuck about Final Destination Five. They're yeah. liars. That's why they're liars. Because the last movie, what the last title, last movie was the final. Listen to me, the final destination. So what are you gonna call this one? The not so final destination? Bunch of fucking final liars. Destination We're five. kidding. <laughs> yeah. It's, I guarantee you, this is gonna suck. 
almost every fifth installment of a series is horrible. Well, I never been. I don't. I don't care for none of the films to be honest. Because okay, I know it's set out to do what it did. I mean, the idea of I like the first two to kill you or whatever. Okay, makes you a little more cautious where you walk, what you do, what is this. All right. But I didn't think you need a franchise of Final Destination, to be honest. I really don't. The only thing that might be interesting in this, but I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if she gets killed off. Emma Bell, because I remember she's in Frozen. Mm-hmm. She's in this movie, but I'm not going to watch it for Emma Bell. I mean, she's a good actor. She did a good job in Frozen. But Final Destination, I know she's probably going to end up getting killed off and stuff. I mean, I, I like. <laughs> The first two films, I especially like the second film, because I thought the door... I agree, the, I like the first two. The opening. The third one. But after the third yeah. one, it lost me. And the fourth one, I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> and now the fifth one, I'm like, suck on my dick. Isn't the fourth one like, you know, Shit. in the car wash, in the car wash, yeah. Yeah, and everybody uh, dies at the end. Like always. So it's supposed to be the... F- well, at least in the others, it's like, okay, some people Somebody survive. Somebody lives. But at this one, literally everybody dies at hmm. the end. So I don't know how it's the fuck like there the is It's kind of like the end of Edge of Darkness, where everybody dies. And like, that's a cliche now. Everybody's got to die. That's it. And I'm sure if there's just a success, there'll be a part six and a part seven and all that. So it's like Friday the 13th, you know, the final <laughs> chapter. Oops, no. But they had a good idea, though, with the sixth one. So yeah. I, it's fine. Um, the help. Fuck. I, I, I just the fact that Emma Stone and Bryce Dallas Howard, the two chicks who were. Fuck it's that. funny. Both Gwen Stacy's are in that movie. Bryce Dallas Howard is Gwen Stacy. Right? <laughs> and Emma Stone is playing Gwen Stacy in the shitty. Well, Bryce Dallas Howard can't act. I don't like her as an actress. I know she's Ron Howard's daughter, but I don't know. I didn't like her in Salvation, to be honest. I, I actually prefer Claire Danes now, even though. I remember my, when I used to be on here and I talked about T3, I was hard on Claire Danes, but I think Claire Danes should have came out for Salvation, in all honesty. Because Bryce Dallas Howard just can't act. You know, her she father... Well, I don't know what the fuck, but she needs to take a or quaalude. Suck. She needs to take a quaalude and she'll be okay. Take a quaalude? So, in the morning. I morning. heard it's about right 30 French. minutes or less about yeah. some... Rob, bank robbing movie or I something. I saw the shit. trailer. Yeah. A bank robbing movie, really? Remember 30 minutes early, Remember, Efri, we saw the trailer. That's the Jesse Eisenberg is the delivery guy. And he has the oh, bomb to his that. chest. Yeah. And you have the guy from Observer Report. Yeah. I mean, we saw the trailer. I don't really trailer. like Jesse Eisenberg. I don't know what it... I mean, this guy is like some great actor because he plays some neurotic... You know, kid. And that movie was it, The Social Network? The one yeah, I mean, it's like, I've I seen, seen that. that one. I've seen clips from that, and I'm like, wow, that's phenomenal. He's just acting like any other teenager. It's like him and Michael Sarah should battle out for the most, you know, neurotic teenager wannabe characters out there. Yeah. I mean, what do you feel about the trailer? With the Mantle It didn't look like that yeah. was much film right about. It, it, right? it could be a time waster, you know, it could be fun, I don't know. Yeah, uh, Ruben Fleischer directing. I mean, I liked him what he did with Zombie Lands. Is Ruben Fleischer related to you know the other Fleischer guy? Ruben Studdard. No, Fleischer. The, the, Jack. Is it Jack Fleischer? Wait, the guy who directed Amityville 3D. The guy who directed Amityville 3D. I don't know. I don't know. Richard Fleischer. I don't know. I don't remember Amityville 3D. Fuck that movie. Uh, Next one is, speaking of Conan the Destroyer, uh, Conan the Barbarian, which is going to destroy. Boo! 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 Jason Momoa. There's a fucking Hawaiian dude from Stargate Stargate Atlantis. Mamma mia. It's at least through Lionsgate, folks. Marcus Dispel. Steven Lang. Marcus Dispel is a... Look look at his hairpiece in that one, too. And Marcus Dispel is a horrible director. Pathfinder... Well, Morgan Spire, I gotta admit, I liked it. His Sex Chainsaw Massacre, I liked it. Fire But uh, it was watchable. You should not do. You no, do I... not need a 3D Conan movie. No. It's 3D? Yeah. Really? That sucks. The fuck off a duck. 